And here's the finished product. But I think everything came out pretty good. Batteries are mounted in there. That's my controller. Uh, throttle, all that stuff. There's my onboard computer again. I always have to make room for these things so I can have my own Muzak. Um, that seat came out good. I didn't show how I made that in the video, but uh, that came out pretty decently. Paint is what it is. Anyway, I'll take it for a ride now. It just looks so damn cool. <laughs> but, alright, I'm going to take it for a ride. Real tight. Real tight corners, as you can see. Um, most fun thing is going off-road with it. You cut real close. Well, it's something to ride around, I guess. Take you guys on a little ride with me. <laughs> of course, this is a little difficult. I got one hand on the handlebar. Uh, where this thing really shines at, though, is off-roading. Because the shocks are super, super uh, suspension-y, I guess is the right word. Um, got plenty of power, 36 volts. I geared it. doesn't really high top speed. But it does have a, uh, it's got plenty of power. I can, I can get on it and get some speed. So this is where it's, this is where it really shines. <laughs> Nothing scares me. Big dips in the road, oh well, boom. <laughs> Almost like riding on an air mattress. That noise you hear rattling is the uh, seat, the seat or the uh, headrest. I haven't tightened it up yet. That's annoying me real bad. Oh well. Thanks for watching.